A vintage car repair man is behind bars in Galveston County accused of ripping off his customers. Thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin and I'm Lisa Hernandez in for Daniela tonight. Several customers say he took their cash and cars. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry joins us now live from Dickinson where investigators have been working all day on this. Bryce. Lisa Keith, this storage facility behind me is where that repairman allegedly operated. And today, as the Galveston County Auto Crimes Task Force was serving a search warrant here, they say he showed up and got handcuffed. Inside these storage units off FM 3436 in Dickinson, Galveston County Sheriff's detectives found these vintage cars stacked up awaiting repairs. For months, they've been investigating 48 year old Richard Finley, whose business they say kept changing locations, cars in tow, all while not answering owners phone calls or letting them know. The Sheriff's Office says when Finley defaulted on payments to the storage facility, he got locked out and owners couldn't get to their cars. Only KPRC 2's camera cameras captured some of the cars being towed away as some of the owners finally found out where their cars have been for months. I was shocked that they had my car and that it was being released. One of the owners got the call from investigators today after paying Finley $28,000 to fix up his 72 Camaro, a supposed 12 week job that has taken two years and still isn't done. The guys are obviously a crook. I mean, he's swindled a lot of people out of money. Included. As investigators worked, Finley showed up and they took him into custody. He's now in the Galveston County Jail charged with property theft greater than $300,000. Do your homework before you drop your car off at a shop. And I totally don't expect to get my money back at all. And tonight, Finley's bond is set at $200,000. Court records show that he has been sued several times by customers alleging improper handling of their cars and their cash. As for the criminal investigation in all of this, the sheriff's office tells us that's ongoing and additional charges are possible. We're live in Dickinson tonight. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. Bryce, thank you.